Good morning, everybody. I got the weasel with me. If you can see his ears poking up in the background there. We're here at Canadian Tire, getting some errands done today. Apparently, Christmas starts here. So I'm home for Christmas holidays now. It is uh, December 21st today, so happy solstice. The shortest day of the year, today, daylight hours. That means after today, we can look forward to longer daylight hours, which is awesome in and of itself. So it's gonna be a good day, you know it just from that. I got the weasel with me, so that's another reason you know it's gonna be a good day. Another reason is Christmas is almost here. It's four days till Christmas, right? 21, 22, 23, 24, including today, four days. Three days if you don't want to include today, that sounds even better, three days to Christmas. So I'm gonna go in here, uh, I'm gonna grab some more kerosene for the truck. Now I'm working in my shop today, getting things organized, cleared up, and I'm trying to run the uh, bunk heater in my truck. I know some of you are tired of me talking about it, but here we go, I told you I was gonna keep talking about it. Uh, I'm gonna run it through a good long cycle all afternoon with just straight kerosene and see if that helps again. If not, uh, my next step is to replace the fuel filter. Maybe I should do that anyways, it just needs to be replaced. Maybe I'll go do that. I'll run into uh, PBX, see if they got a fuel filter for me. I wanna get new uh, screws for my headlight adjustment. Like those screws where you adjust the angle of your headlights, mine are like rusted into place. So I gotta unseize them and put new ones in. I might go and get that done. But my main top, my, my main, uh, the main topic of my vlog today, the main thing that I'm going to be doing today is organizing my shop, getting it looking half decent. I, I really need to do that. I've been talking about doing this for months already, since before we moved. And now I have a free day. I wasn't expecting to be at home this early, but I have a free day. It's not quite Christmas yet, so it's no. there's no big plans today. It's, a, it's an open day. Britt's at home with Theo. I'm going to get some stuff done, and I brought Diesel with me to help. Diesel, you're not helping much over here, man. I'm just got to call you out here a little bit. You've been kind of sleeping the whole time. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I didn't expect you to help at all anyway. You're just here for company. So, uh, I haven't been working on this area yet. I'm working on this area back here. I've got Old Blue pulled out of the shop. I've got the bunk heater running on full blast on kerosene right now. So, uh, I'm going to let that go all afternoon yet. For I'll be here for another couple of hours probably at least. While I work on all of this. I didn't want to work in here and have all those fumes obviously in here. I need to keep that door closed because it's a little bit cold out there and I want it to be warmer while I work in here. So you can probably hear it. Can you hear it outside the door there? This microphone is pretty, pretty sensitive here. Can you hear it? <laughs> so I'll share with you what my plan is for this here. I've got my quad here that I need to fix up a little bit and sell eventually or drive. It needs new rims in the front. The rims are bent. I bought it like that a long time ago and I never got it fixed. So I gotta get those rims fixed. Those tires got leaks in it and it needs a muffler. Don't be fooled. It looks like it has a muffler. <laughs> there's no muffler in there and there's no spark arrestor. It's just a straight pipe and I can't ride it legally like that anyway. It has a rebuilt engine. Completely rebuilt. It's got maybe like 20 hours on the engine, maybe? That's why I'm keeping it. That engine is good, it's brand new. So I just gotta fix up these other little, little things and then I can rip around with it, right? Maybe one day when Theo's old enough, he can rip around with it. It's got quite a bit of power. It's a Polaris Predator, it's a 2005. Polaris Predator 500. So it's got some giver in it. Uh, and I, I like it. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna play around with it yet eventually. Don't worry. Back there is our uh, big mower. That's gonna be going to the house in spring, but for winter time, it stays in the shop here. I don't want this all here because I need to be able to get to my my heater back there. That's my floor heat, my heater boiler. A floor heat boiler. I want to be able to have access to that, and also my water. I've got it coming out here on a hose to here. And I'm tired of that. I just want this whole area free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these two machines over there and organize all of this back there. I've got my bull snot slash house shelf being developed over here. 
you got the uh, the bull snot. It's going to be visible all the way down here. Some other bull snot products as well. I got my house products up here. Hat, flashlight. Probably going to be doing a giveaway with these uh, next time I do like a in-person truck show or something. When I get, meet you guys at a truck show, I'll bring those along and uh, give it to some of you guys. There's a toque back there as well. Yeah, using it myself right now. See, I use this stuff. Cleaning this surface, getting everything ready, getting all of this. This is the main project here, like right now. I gotta get all this, because this is how it was when I moved. I don't always have it like this. Sorry, I'll keep my hand out of the shot. It keeps focusing on my hand. I know, it's a beautiful hand. Look at, that, look at that ring. You see that? You see that? That means I'm a taken man. Anyway. So I gotta get all that organized and on the shelf over there looking nice. Get all of this shelf cleaned up here, looking nice. Probably get the shelf out of here altogether and then move those over here. And then my bike will probably go in the same area here as well. We'll see where it fits. That's yeah, sort of skinny, you can sort of slip it in anywhere. It's just a little guy. It's uh, a 2008, I believe. No, 2014. It's a Yamaha V-Star 650. So it's a little baby, little baby bike. Bought it off a coworker. And my plan for it is, once I have room on my frame, if I stretch my frame and if there's enough room on there, since it's so light, I might be able to build a frame for it and a lift to put it up behind my cab and take it with me on the truck. That's why I'm sort of holding on to it because it's, it's a nice little bike to take with. I don't need to take a big, bulky, heavy bike with me, right? That just weighs me down and I don't want to be overweight on the scales. So that's sort of my thoughts. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but it's still fun to rip around with it. It sounds pretty awesome. Maybe I'll sell it. The thing is, if I, if I sell the bike, I'm gonna sell this as well at the same time. I was just showing you here. And uh, I'm gonna take the money from both of those. I'm gonna buy our family a side-by-side -side ATV so that we can go out as a family and go touring the trails around Manitoba. There's lots of awesome trails to, to explore. And I think once Theo's old enough, that would be a lot of fun. So that's, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Well, Diesel, what do you think? I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, I'm not quite done, but I'm done for today. Everything moved to the back so that I can access the hot water boiler over here and the water itself right down there. Got my bull snot and house corner set up in here, but there is obviously still more to do. Obviously, but we got a little bit more space now, and I'll be back. I just got to move those bins out of the corner there so that they're not blocking the exit, and then we're done. Thanks for your help, Diesel. He took all day, man. All day. I'm tired. I want to go home. I'm hungry. I want to heat. All right. Well, we're going home. So, I mean, it's really not that much neater at all. The neatness, or the, the, the clutter is just a little neater. That, that's... What I mean, and I got my, I did get that shelf back there done. That took a little while. And it's hard to find places for all this. I need to build like a second level up here for storage. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Got that doorway clear there. And I gotta go through everything, go through these boxes. So this is gonna be a long project. My main project for today was to move these big machines back here though, like I said, so now I can get to all the important stuff over there and I don't have to climb over everything to get there, right? It's still a mess, man. Still a mess. But that's okay. That's okay, man. It's true. I just kind of rearranged the mess. But I feel better about it. And that's what matters. Looks better to me. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. We are far from done, though. Far from done. Shelving has to go up in here. A second level, probably, for storage. So far from done, it's just a little bit better. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, man. Keep telling yourself that. Make it, whatever makes you feel good, man. Whatever floats your boat. It was nice. It was really nice to be able to just spend a little bit of time in the shop rearranging, listening to music. Just, uh, I have a vision of how I want that whole shop to look. 
and I, I still have to hang up all my flags, all my signs, make the whole shop sort of, uh, I guess, a little bit reflect my personality a little bit, feel a little bit more, I wouldn't say homey, because this is home, that's not home, but you know, more like my own space, right? Uh, the walls aren't painted, though you can see they're all mudded, but I'm not too worried about that. It's a shop, it doesn't have to be perfect. But we'll uh, continue on that another day. I feel a lot better about how it is. I think that's what was bothering me the most about it was I went in there and I, it's, it was absolute chaos. I didn't know where anything was. Uh, it's still a little bit chaotic right now, but at least that back section, I've gone through every single little thing, every individual little thing, and I know where everything is now. So now I just need to get the storage capacity, like shelving and stuff, to be able to put it on its own little space. That's a step for the future. And then in front of the camper there, you saw there was that little bit there. That's some stuff we have to go through yet since we moved. Uh, we're going to get rid of a lot of that, or some of it anyways. And uh, again, probably need to build a second level in the back of the shop there just to give myself that extra layer of storage. And then I'd like to, because it's plumbed in for a bathroom in there, for a toilet and a shower and stuff and a hot water tank. It's already all plumbed in, ready to go. I'd like to install that. I'd, I'd really like to have a washroom there. There is one that I can use nearby, but that's not really the same when you're working on the truck and you gotta go out in the cold and walk a little ways to get this bathroom. It'd be nice to have a bathroom right in the shop. Because for whatever reason, I don't know why, but whenever I get to the shop, that's when my body suddenly decides it's time to go right now. I don't know why, but every single time, I keep track. I keep track. Before I go, I'm like, okay, everything's good. I feel good. I don't need to go. Let's go to the shop. The second I walk in the door, need to run back out the door and find a bed. Anyway, you guys don't need to know that. But that's one of my plans too, is to frame in a bathroom there to solve that problem. And uh, that'll all be for the future, one step at a time. Right now, I'm still focused on this house. We have gotten the house. That was the main focus, like I was telling you over the past year. That was the main focus to get into this house. We, we got the house. Uh, you'll find out in future videos upcoming, we had some upgrades to do in the house right away so that were unexpected. Um, but we got those done. They were a little bit expensive, but uh, we, we got them done. And uh, it's, it's going to be time to focus on putting our nose to the grindstone and working hard through 2024. 2024 is going to be the year of the working. Working, working, and working a little bit more. And then after we're done working a little bit more, we're going to work a lot more. And uh, that's what you got to do to have nice things. You have to work for it. Nothing gets given to you for free, at least very rarely, maybe in some special circumstances, you win the lottery or something, or you get born into money. Uh, for me, I gotta work for it. And I wanna have nice things. And we do right now. We, we have been blessed. We have a lot of nice things. And a lot of them are paid off already, which is great. Some of them aren't. And I gotta work for it. Especially this house. The world is a different place than it was, uh, you know, 30 years ago. Houses are a lot more expensive now. It's more expensive to run. Of course, there's more bills and stuff than they had back then, too, because now we got internet, cell phones, you know, streaming services, all that stuff. But I got it. We got everything under control. We're doing okay. So you don't need to worry about us at all. That's not what I'm trying to get across here. I'm trying to get across. We're doing just fine. But you got to work for what you have. Work hard. That's what I intend to do. So I'll see you in my next video. I have a couple of Christmas videos coming up before we get back on the road yet, so I'll see you in my next one. Please, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It is free.